How's everybody doing? This is Yanko Maceda, and I'm not going to forget, hit that like, hit the like, hit the like, hit the like, so we can share as much of this love with everybody else. Hit the like. Guys, I'm here at Tabanero Cigars. This is a little bit more relaxing. We are shooting for you guys. Because the uh, same way I do, you guys believe in the enjoyment of craftsmanship that allows you to stop time, reflect on life, and plan the future ahead. And today I want to share with you guys the psychology behind cigars, how psychological cigars affect human behavior in a sense, in a good, in a good sense. Uh, I haven't seen anybody light up a cigar, smoke half of the cigar and go to a bank and rob the bank. I haven't seen that before. I haven't seen anybody that smoked three cigars and go kill someone. So how cigars affect the psychologic of a human, of a person. Most of the time when you see people smoking cigars and they do something right after, it will be something pretty relaxing. <laughs> cigars definitely get you relaxed. And I'll just share with you guys my crazy thoughts when I'm at a, a birthday party or a event, you know, business event. When I'm recently, I went to a property appraisal, property appraisal uh, meeting. I think is a monthly, yearly meeting. I think from the CCM commercial. Commercial developers and my my lovely wife invite me to to the event because um, we've been looking we've been looking where is going to be the, the the new air the next area the next area that is going to be developing right here in Tampa Bay so we can put our next Casa Tabanero. It's not going to be the same the same concept of here of you know so many moving parts. There's a lot of moving parts right here in Tabanero. So, eh, for the next Casa Tabanero, it will be a lot more relaxing. The same vibe, same atmosphere, um, atmosphere that we have here. You know, the vibe, the, the good relaxing energy. But not a lot of moving parts like here. In here we got people doing packaging, doing shipping, uh, taking care of customers, people making coffee. There's a lot going on in here in this little shop. And sometimes one person, two persons are doing most of the work. We have a cigar roller. And the next shop is not going to be, I don't think we will have a cigar roller. So I was at the event, and, and it, it was a great event, uh, pretty informative. Pretty informative because uh, Pinellas County, Hillsboro, and Pasco, They'll present how good they are doing even after the pandemic, even after COVID-19. And things are looking good for Florida. I guess everybody wants to move to Florida, which is good. It brings, it brings business. So I was at the event and I was listening to everybody. And I guess because recently I was at, to another event that people were celebrating. It was like an event coordinator event. It was for people, for hotels, restaurants, event venues, for us to showcase what we do for them. And it was a good one too. And it was recently that we went to that event. So when I was at the property appraisal, I was looking at everybody and everybody was pretty, pretty concentrated on what the guy was presenting. It was good information. We had lunch. We had coffee, and I was just daydreaming. I was, I'm always being criticized since I was a kid to be a daydreamer. Uh, the teacher will be doing the lecture, and I will hear pretty far, dang up, dang up. And I was like, what? And it was a teacher screaming at me like, hey, pay attention here. You're always daydreaming. I said, oh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So I will pay attention to the teacher because I was, I was daydreaming. So I was at the property appraisal day dreaming. And I said, how cool, how relaxing it will be if I, after everybody in here had the coffee, we already had lunch, they're presenting, 
if we can go ahead and light up the cigars, light up the cigars, they start filling the room with nice aroma of different cigars, Maduro, San Andres, Ecuadorian wrapper, different aromas. How much more people will relax and talk to each other and ask them, hey, what are you smoking there? Oh, this is a Connecticut from Arturo Fuentes. No, I'm sorry, Perdomo. No, this is an Opus X. People will get to talk because they were smoking cigars. And, oh, wow, and how often do you usually smoke? Well, let's pay attention to the presentation, but at least I smoke three times a day, you know? So people start talking in my dream because they're smoking cigars. But no, there's no cigars allowed in that room. So everybody's pretty uptight, you know, with their jackets and, you know, paying attention and everybody quiet. So I said, what a different event if we'll be able to light up cigars here. What a different event. There's some, something psychological about the tobacco leaf that makes us more friendly, more genuine. Uh, because how much can you lie about a cigar? Oh, this cigar, on the quarter mile, it did 2.5. Nah. Oh, this cigar, it was, um, you know, in the stock market, it did this trading. and did, No, the cigar, you're going to smoke the cigar. It has, a, it has a taste. It has your personal flavor or profile. Uh, the cigars, you're going to say is good. You're going to say the different tones that you use per make from the cigar. You don't have to, you don't have to show off or, or make it sound like it's something out of this world. It's not, it's not an expensive car. It can be an expensive cigar. So what I'm saying is that when people are smoking cigar for some reason, they come, they, 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 they come down, they're more open, they're more relaxed because they're concentrating, they concentrate on the experience of smoking the cigar. So I bet many events, there will be a lot more um, easier for people to communicate because of the re relaxation of the moment of the experience of smoking a cigar. Prior to this uh, appraisal event, appraisal invitation, I was, like I said, in the Starship uh, boat. We were invited by Visit Tampa Bay and they paid for all the samples. And then people were drinking, and then people, everybody was lighting up cigars because it was in the deck, the, the boat deck. So it was outdoor, and it was allowed to smoke cigars. Oh my God! Everyone was celebrating like it was, like it was the end, like like there was no tomorrow. And this were all adults, people from New York, people from, I think, uh, many other states, coming to Tampa to see what Tampa had to offer. But after they had dinner. And they came to the deck of the boat. They were having drinks and smoking a cigar. Imagine coming to Tampa to see what Tampa has to offer. And you're drinking and smoking cigars. Oh, my God. Everyone was acting and looking like, like they were big shots. You know, they, they, were, they were living the life. They were making it until they fake it. They were faking it until they make it, you know. And, and I don't know. I, I, I guess I'm still young. I'm only 43, 42 and a half years old. I, um, I had a birthday, a uh, calendar birthday, uh, just recently, but I, I still <laughs> resonate that. Nah, nah, not 43 yet. And I still got so much to learn. And I guess through reading and analyzing my friends and people that come here, I will figure it out the, a better understanding of the psychology of just holding a cigar just holding a cigar how the persona how you feel when you hold a cigar and you feel comfortable you feel confidence that when you cut that cigar you light up that cigar and you start puffing you're gonna know what to do you're gonna know how to go about it that should give you some kind of confidence that I don't think even riding a bicycle you get that same confidence I think lighting up a cigar, knowing how to enjoy a cigar, it, it lets you go into another dimension, into another dimension that not a lot of people will even dare to get there, dare to jump into that dimension. 
I see people that they really take care of themselves. I see them in their 60s, 70s, and when they see a cigar, they think it's the devil. They go, oh, no, cigar, no, 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 cigar, oh, no. Okay, I got it. I see people that they're 70, 80, smoking a cigar, and there's something on their face, there's something on their aura, on their energy, that you feel that they know they've been around. They are confident that the time they were here in this beautiful world, they did the right thing and they are pretty confident that they will leave Earth for fear, for fear. And I don't know if, I don't know if cigars have something to do with that. I don't know if cigars give you so much confidence that they even did a t-shirt uh, a t-shirt that says, I know I know things and I smoke cigars. Well, I smoke cigars and I know things. Something like that. So the psycholo psych psychology behind a cigar is, is um, it's from another dimension, I would say. It's something that three years I will, I will keep uh, understanding and, and, and thinking of behavior how we feel because we know the secrets of enjoying a good cigar you see many young entrepreneurs getting into the industry and counting myself and they get into it because they see the glamour they see the stigma of, wow, cigars, cigars, cigars is a sign of celebration, a sign of power. And they get into it, and they know a little bit. They, they kind of have a sense that cigar is related to some kind of people that, with a circle of people, that they really enjoy life in a different way to everybody else. Because if you pay attention when someone is smoking a cigar, they're not in front of the TV. They usually in a nice uh, lounging mode, smoking, lowering their blood pressure, relaxing, reflecting. So I guess a different source open to these people smoking cigars. And the younger entrepreneurs, they sense or they think it has something to do with being smart or being successful. And it's basically, it's basically I believe, Passion, passion, really passionate people are attracted to handmade cigars. And passionate people, we tend to pay more attention to details. We, we see the a good Rome, it has a nice packaging, a good Rome has nice reviews, and we, la we like to learn about the history, why that Rome became so successful. And... I guess younger entrepreneurs see a lot of passionate people around cigars and they think the old passionate people they're you know old passionate people are successful and not all the time it works like that so and I'm going into entrepreneurship because of the simple reason that the psycholo psychological behind cigars it, it brings people to the lifestyle, it brings people to the business, and most of the time in the beginning for the wrong reasons, for the wrong reasons. There's, I, I pay attention a lot to what's going on on social media, and there's a lot of new entrepreneurs getting into the cigar industry that I have doubts. I have doubts if at some point they will really get the idea because they're so desperate for attention. They do things that I, I go, I, I have videos of my beginning of doing things related, cigar related, that now I see them and I go, man, I was so desperate for attention because there were old videos, me trying to explain and me uh, trying to call attention, but it was cigar related. I see new entrepreneurs doing things in the cigar industry that I go, wow. That guy is really desperate. And 
and I don't know if they're if we all going crazy, uh, you know, about about the industry or, or there's something that there's something that we are that we not we not seeing it when we get into it in the beginning. Cigars bring people together. There's no doubt bring people together. The more I think about it, and the more the more I ask myself why, why I am in this business, why I am in this industry. And since I was young, I was a, I'm always been pretty, a pretty shy kid, a pretty shy person. I wasn't, I wasn't the outgoing person that sometimes I, I see on, on an event or, uh, and they say hello, they shake your hand, and you go, man, I wish I'd be so outgoing like that. And I saw in cigars that it's pretty easy to to break the ice. It's pretty easy to get into a conversation when you have someone in front of you that he likes cigars too. It's really simple. Cigars, some people call them a brotherhood. You, you're walking in the airport and you have a cigar case or something uh, cigar related. And it's not going to take more than 10 minutes after you sit down or you're staying in line that someone is going to ask you about the cigars. Someone's going to go, oh, what do you smoke? Oh, so you smoke cigars? Yeah, yeah, I smoke cigars. Oh, yeah, I, I do too. You know, what, what brand? And then he wants to start a conversation right away. So the cigars has definitely has some magic of bringing people together. I see a lot of young people getting into it again. They associate with uh, success. They associate with power. A lot of glamour, and they want to look alike. They want to already they start experimenting like they're already successful by smoking cigars. There's nothing wrong with that. I am just think that if you get into it too early, you will get burned. You will get burned, and then and the day that you really want to smoke cigars, you probably had a bad experience when you were pretty young, and you're not going to not even think about it later on. I, um, you know, on my trips to Nicaragua, it's amazing how much energy we we put together when I'm down there with Raymond. How much talking about cigars and talking about leave and talking about the difficulties and talking about the good cigars and how do he accomplish this and how do he came up with this idea and what my customers are asking for and he asked me a lot about here about the U.S., what people are looking for. And all that energy around cigars, it always brings something good. It's, it's a good outcome. Because after I leave Nicaragua, I start getting phone calls. I started getting emails. He starts getting uh, business propositions that we're not going to blame it that it was on my visit down there. But it has, some, has a lot to do with that because of the great conversations about the future and smoking cigars. There's some kind of energy when it comes to smoking cigars that brings people together, The people use it for celebrations. We'll have to go back and see why tobacco leaf is used for celebration. It has some mystical, it has some energy when you celebrate with cigars that um, attract the right things to your, to your to you as an individual because it definitely has done it for me every time that I verbalize I talk I talk about something in this industry and it happens that I'm smoking a cigar uh, things start flowing things start flowing and the more I I um, the more I ask from myself to do better and better and better I'm not really doing it for because anybody's watching. I'm doing it because of me, because I want to do better and better and better. And in this industry, because it's full of passionate people, customers, it will, they will pick it up right away. They will pick it up right away, and they will find that you are really honest and true about what you are doing. If you try to fake things in this industry, it's like also trying to fake 
a friendship. Like you're trying to be someone's friends because some interest and you not really want to be his friend. Because we can we can um, be in the same in the same industry. We can be making cigars, we can both have brands, but if for somehow I don't have a good chemistry, I respect you as a as an individual, I respect the way you do business, but I'm not interested in how to, to really develop a friendship with you because I don't I don't feel like it. I'm not gonna push myself to build a friendship with you because I see some interest uh, now or in the future. So it's the same thing with the cigar industry, with the lifestyle. You're not gonna you you're not gonna fake you like cigars. You're not gonna fake uh, friends in this industry. Uh, cigar smokers, I believe, they're pretty pretty straightforward and pretty honest uh, individuals so far. The ones that I have met. So passion and honesty, I think, I think they they go together. They go together. And for some reason, people who smoke cigars are really passionate about what they do, about their uh, profession, about cigars. And usually they're pretty honest too. So tobacco is, has some magical powers. Tobacco has some magical powers. Uh, relationships that are built around tobacco, I think they will last forever. They will last forever because... Uh, an individual that knows how to enjoy cigars, I don't think he will never stop. I usually tell my friends, if your doctor says that uh, you gotta stop smoking cigar, change your doctor. Change your doctor, don't don't change the cigars. <laughs> I hope someday when I'm in front of that door uh, to make that decision because I'm not, I'm 120 years or 130 years. And if the doctor says, well, you know what, you're already kicking, you're already 120, 130, you need to stop smoking cigars so you can live a few more years, I'll say, nah, 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 I'll keep smoking cigars. doesn't matter if I'm not going to last to 150. And sometimes I, 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 I play around a lot with this, with lasting many years, because I really enjoy what I do. And I just saw news, I, I, I saw news uh, by... 2045 by 2045 we'll be able to decide if we wanted to keep aging or stop aging or even get younger so I'm not that crazy I'm not that crazy 2045 I'm still here and I'm still kicking so I guess I'll be making cigar for 130 years <laughs> until I'm 130 because when you think you know it all, which I have, I'm not even close to that. A new country comes up growing tobacco, a new region starts growing a different leaf, and the industry keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. It keeps evolving. The only ones that they're still a dinosaur and they're still uh, in the uh, 1800s is Cuba. But I guess it worked for them because most of the European countries. They still brag about Cuban cigars. They said it's the, it's the best. Well, it can be the best when you go ahead and blend with other tobaccos. But just like what has worked for them for the last, I don't know, 50, 60 years of just doing the same blend, same blend, same tobacco, I don't think it will work in the free, in the free world. I don't think it will work in the new world. I don't think it will work because it is the same profile all the time. But we're going away. We've been talking about friendship. We're talking about friendships and cigars and tobacco. I have a friend in Miami, my best friend from high school, that we see each other once a month. But that once a month that we see each other, we light up a cigar, serve a little bit of rum, smoke cigars, drink rum. We remember, we talk about the present and we plan the future. And we do it, we do it so relaxed. I, I don't have to be bragging. He doesn't brag about his things that he has done in Miami. We go to a level, thanks to the cigars, and I guess the drinks help a little bit. 
that we can have a great conversation. We have, we have a great conversation. And if we disagree in something, we kind of place it on someone else's head, like for him to ask the question and answer the question himself to see if we get to agree that there are better ways to do it or kind of whoever, whoever is trying to have the debate, we always ask questions. And I, and, I, and I guess that's because we are pretty relaxed, smoking cigars, drinking rum. Uh, he brought me, last time, he brought me a Dos Maderas. Dos Maderas 5-5. Cinco cinco. Dos Maderas 5-5. Five five. Two Woods 5-5. Five five. So basically it's a rum, a rum from Spain. They, uh, they age on two types of barrels. They age on the rum barrel and then they do a bourbon barrel. So it's pretty sweet, pretty smooth. It's a rum from Spain. They do it in Barbados. They make the rum in Barbados and they send it to Spain for aging in Spain. So those maderas we had it last time and man, it was good. He hasn't tried the Zacapas XO. So next time he's here, I have a Zacapas hiding somewhere so we can drink some Zacapas. I haven't light up the cigar because I had I had a so throw, you know, and when things like that are happening, I, I, I let my throat rest. A lot of lime, honey, melaza, and then I let them rest. I let them rest. The change of weather. You got to respect the signs when your body's asking you for a break. A lot of exciting things happening. A lot of exciting things happening. Things are moving along in Nicaragua. We got great news. We got things that have surprised myself, has surprised the factory in Nicaragua. Things that we talked about it when we were in Nicaragua. But when we talked about it, we thought it was going to be, when you know, building a relationship, building my friendship with Raymond, with Raymond Pages. When we had these conversations in Nicaragua, we thought of these things happening in 20 years, in 20 years, or I don't know, in 10 years. Again, let me take that back. On Raymond time, he's, he's a lot faster. I guess he's 28, so he's, he's so hungry. He wants things to happen tomorrow. I'm not like that. I, I've been, I have learned to be patient, so I'm not in a rush for things to happen tomorrow. But, man, things are happening pretty fast for him. And... I'm involved also on those things happening pretty fast for him. And I will say it late on how uh, right now, right now it's just planting a seed, planting a seed. So we even, uh, we even talking about the box shop, the box shop in Nicaragua. We've been working pretty hard to make that box shop as modern as we get, we can in here so when we ship it to Nicaragua it's something out of this world because um, how much uh, technology we have put on on the box shop to try to make box boxes uh, as fast as we can so guys again uh, friendships and cigars and tobacco Think about it when you by yourself and you light up by yourself and you smoking by yourself because uh, I don't know your friends are far away or whatever every time you puffing you you bringing memories bringing memories that when you see with the boys and you talk with the boys and you feel so eager to to see how they doing that most of the time you will pick up that phone and send a text or even try to call because you miss them. You miss great conversations that you have with them when you're smoking by yourself. So definitely cigars bring people together. And they bring people together to a level that sometimes they don't even know they get to that level of relaxation, honesty, and, and passionate conversations. And I don't think alcohol does that. I think alcohol, by the time you get that relaxed, or by the time you you get you start saying the truth, you already <laughs> you already had too many drinks, so you can't really have an adult conversation. 
Cigars, they don't do that. Cigars, by the time you start relaxing, your blood pressure is already in the right level. You're not intoxicated. You still, you still got all your senses. So you can have a great conversation at a pretty relaxed uh, ambience. And I think that's the difference between cigars and alcohol. You can help a little bit with a few sips. Most of the times when you smoke cigars, you, you have uh, liqueurs that you should sip, sip. So that way you can continue that conversation for hours. I, I emphasize that on the next uh, cigar shops that we're going to have, cigar lounges. This is a cigar shop. The next one will be a cigar lounge. I'm having doubts about TVs. I'm having doubts about TVs because I want you, I want the client when he's sitting down to make those relationships, to talk to all the people. So I don't want a lot of things that are distracting the client, distracting the customer so they can make relationships, they can talk to people. They, they can build friendships on Casa Tabaneros. I want, when people years later mention, oh, you remember how we met? Oh no, we met at Casa Tabanero. We met at Casa Tabanero that has a pretty nice, relaxing ambience. I want you to remember that it was in that type of uh, atmosphere. I don't want you to say, oh yeah, yeah, we met at a cigar shop. We met at a cigar shop. No, 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 you didn't meet at a cigar shop. You met at Casa Tabanero, where we, are, where we believe in the enjoyment of craftsmanship, where you stop time because you're not paying attention to anything else. And when you stop time, you are more aware of your surrounding. You're talking to someone. And then next thing you know, we already went over what's going on here. We start reflecting. We start reflecting, thinking about how things are going, how the country's going, how the world's going. And basically, when you do that type of reflection, you're already planning ahead. So the enjoyment of craftsmanship that allows you to stop time, reflect on life, and plan the future ahead. That's how I see it, it's simple. I was sleeping and I always keep asking God why, why I'm into this, why I'm into this lifestyle, why I'm in the industry of cigars. Because I, I need to serve others with the best of me. I need to serve others to help them to understand better their daily doings, you know, the future, how they're gonna go about things, and it will be it's already with the Maceda brand, the Tabanero brand, this beautiful shop, and pretty soon Casa Tabaneros, Casa Tabaneros. I'm gonna put as many as I can because the more that we getting addicted to the phone, more Casa Tabaneros will be needed. So people go, light up a cigar, serve a good beer, craft beer, or wine, or bring your old bottle, put on your locker if you're a member, and relax, relax, enjoy life, talk about life, be more aware of the moment, make friends in a relaxing environment. Not screaming because of a game, or screaming because the music is too loud, or someone sitting next to you had, had too many drinks. No, nah. Casa Tabanero will be pretty relaxing, a lot of enjoyment, and making friends, making friends. You will see. All right, guys. Remember, tobacco has so magical powers that definitely brings people together. And usually, if cigars, friendships, they last a long time. Based on my own experience, I I known I known friends uh, since I started in cigars in 2007. That today they still really really good friend of mine really good friend of mine and there are not that many I can count it with my hand but I met people when I opened my first shop in 2006-2007 that today they still my really good friends and we do it around cigars guys thank you very much my name is Yanko Maceda founder of Tabanero Cigars where we believe in the enjoyment of craftsmanship that allows you to stop time reflect on life, and plan the future ahead. I'll see you guys next time.